Hey guys, Anthony here. Um, video today, just wanted to show you guys a ham radio antenna that I picked up. Actually, I picked up two of them. They're by a company called Abri Antenna. And I got these via Amazon. One is a Abri uh, 48 centimeter or 18.89 inch antenna. And I'll show you show you the antenna in a minute. The other is a 72 centimeter or 28.34 inch antenna. And they come with these little spacers that I haven't used yet, but you could put the spacer in between the, where you screw down the antenna onto the radio, like this here on the Bofang UV5R. You'll see this is the 18 inch antenna. There's a little gap there. So you could put that spacer in there. We haven't had any problems with it today when we were testing it. And then these antennas are like a tactical antenna. You could fold them. It's almost like a um, a piece of ruler that you would, you know, measuring tape that's coated with plastic or some type of rubber material. Then they give you this little piece of Velcro here that you undo. And then the antenna pops into place. And here it is. Okay, so this is the 18 inch one. So the actual antenna will screw off the base, which I guess is the coil section. I'll put a link to the Amazon page and it, it gives you like a pretty good explanation of it. And mine is an SMA female connector because the Bofang has the male, that's the male connector. I don't know if that'll focus on it. Anyway, I got the female, SMA female, and then that'll work connecting it to your radio. So you gotta know what your radio has as far as the SMA goes, if you have an SMA connector. And then the antenna screws right down on here. <clears throat> now, we started testing this today. I was about just a little under three quarters of a mile from home. My wife was inside the house with this UV5R uh, Plus, okay? And I was at a local plaza with my antenna. I have the 28 inch version on my TID radio, which is a Bofang clone. And I had this antenna and from the plaza, I was able to easily connect with my wife um, back at the house. So that's as far as testing I did today around the neighborhood, around the community. And again, this one is the same, just the antenna is bigger. I think there's six or seven different sizes from all the way up to 48 inches. But um, <clears throat> I tell you what, I think, you know, so far from what I've seen, I think they really um, are an increase in reception over the Nagoya 701 here. Although this is a really good antenna and this is a Hertz antenna that I have on one of my radios and this is a telescoping antenna. I think this is like 15 inches this is a good antenna as well. But I want to experiment with different types of antennas. So that's why I bought the Abri. I mean, for 10, I think the 11 bucks for the 28 inch one, nine bucks for the 18 inch one, I think it was a, a really good investment. I mean, you could fold this antenna up, keep a normal antenna on your radio, and then in the field, when you get in the field or in your backpack or in your kit, attach or affix the Abri antenna and then you could increase your range especially if you're up higher and you're trying to get somebody that's down below. Um, I saw the antennas on uh, whose channel was it? I'll put his link also. He has a big ham radio channel. Ham radio crash course I think is the name of his channel. He has a lot of good videos and he did a video where he tested a bunch of these different antennas and he actually used a um, 
you know, he tested them more scientifically than I am. I'm just doing the, you know, the radio, just voice person to person test. I'm not putting any type of measuring device on here or anything, but um, he does a good job reviewing this antenna as well. And, um, and so I want to increase my comms. That's why I got the antennas and that's why if the grid does go down or something happens, I have different options available to me off grid to still communicate. And then secondly, uh, Redivis reached out to me with one of their radios to review. This is a GMRS radio, the RA85. And I have these in-house and this weekend I'm going to be testing these radios. This is the Redivis RA85 GMRS radio. Welcome. Channel mode. 60 channels, uh, also AM FM radio, flashlight, um, weather, just uh, so far, I mean, playing around with them, they, they work really well. We've been playing around the house with them. Uh, one of the things that Redivis does with these is they come with, um, I don't know why they do this, but they come with uh, pre-programmed, all the channels were pre-programmed on privacy tones or CT. Let me find them here in the manual. So all CTCS tones and DCS tones, they come pre-programmed. So what that means is it's fine if you have radio to radio and you're talking with each other and you have this stock out of the box set up, but to get in communications with other radios, it's going to pose a problem on the other end for one of you um, because of the privacy tones and the, the different codes they have. So what I did was a quick fix to that is I <clears throat> plug the radios into my Chirp software, which they're compatible with Chirp. So plug them in, downloaded the channels onto Chirp, went through and deleted all the tones and put them back to no tone, basically. So right now all of my stations on each radio are clean. Um, and ready to, and I could program any local GMRS repeaters via chirp into the radios and go from there. So one of the things you'll have to do with the Redivis RA85 is to clean it up a little bit when you get it, but they are good radios. I watched a few reviews on them. They feel very well built. Another minus is the antenna can't be changed on it. I don't think it doesn't come off, but uh, everything else seems to be really nice came with a charger came with a programming cable um, one programming cable a belt clip a cradle charger and the charger also supports um, charging the radio via USB C which is really really good so you could use it in the charger itself or via USB C on your you know one of your battery chargers and, and charge, recharge these radios. So that's a good plus. So we're going to look for some more videos on the Redivis RA85. Um, I'm doing a lot of practice with radios and trying to do research and get my radio plan down because I feel that something in the future may be coming our way that uh, limits or hinders um, our ability to communicate normally via cell phone, telephone, etc. So that's why you want to do this stuff now. Get familiar with your radios. Get any programming done that you need. Get them all aligned with each other. Uh, Redivis, this is the second or third pair of radios they sent me. Um, the other pair was the RB27s, which are very good radios too. But again, these had the same issue. I think I have a video showing how I deleted the tones off this radio. So, um, yeah, so that's my video today. The Abri antenna, we'll continue to test this and let you know 
what kind of contacts I make via my radios. But I think these are good for, very good for bug out bags and uh, kits. And if you're not going to be, um, if you're mobile at home and at base and you're not really running around with it, I think this is a good option to have at your disposal. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have the a Brie antenna or know anybody or have any experience with it, please let me know. Also, the Redivis RA85. If you have any uh, questions on it, uh, I'll try to get them answered. But um, Redivis is really good at working with you as far as getting all that done. They do make a quality product. And um, I'm looking forward to learning more about this radio and getting it... Um, getting them set up to fit my communications plan. Okay, thanks guys. Take care. Uh, stay ready. Uh, Anthony signing off.